What's up, guys? I've got a question for you today. If you have a beard, whether it be long, short, somewhere in the middle, do you get an itchy beard? If you do, you're going to want to stick and stay tuned to this one because I've got the answer for you. I've had some issues with that in the past. I figured out how to deal with it the best way possible. Let's go over that here in a minute. But before we get into that, guys, welcome to the Red Beard Outdoors podcast. I'm Jonathan, your host. And here at Redbeard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. Today, it being Tuesday, we got Tinkering Tuesday, so we got gear items, or in this case, taking care of your face. Uh, we, as guys, generally don't like to take care of the way that we look. We like to hop in the shower, use the same soap for everything, and be good to go, and go throughout the rest of the day. Well, that doesn't work forever, and definitely want to hit on that. But we also go over gear reviews, gear items that I've used in the past, gear that maybe I give you first impressions on, and I make sure to distinguish the difference between the two because a review is not an overview or a first impressions. A review is I've actually used the item. So check those out, guys. I've got a whole list of them over here on the YouTube channel, as well as if you're listening to the podcast. Uh, I'm over 350 episodes deep at this point, so I want to make sure that you guys are getting the best conversations like we have on Saturdays, Every other Thursday, we do a Why First Form Outdoors episode as to why you should join the First Form Outdoors community, how that would benefit you and your life from different perspectives. And then we've got Tuesday tinkering or gear reviews. So with that being said today, guys, uh, since we are still in June, if you're still listening to this in June, there is an over $2,000 archery gear giveaway. I'm calling it everything but the bow giveaway. So everything you need except for the bow, from arrows to rest to stabilizers to, uh, to a target and a sight, everything in between a, a, a release as well, guys. All of those things I'm giving away to you from our partners to say thank you for the continued growth. Let's get this out there as much as possible so I can continue to give these things back to you, things that I use, things that I trust, getting you items that are from the partners of the show so that you can get out and use them, some good high-end gear, and have an even better experience, or even be able to buy another tag maybe with that money, uh, or go get the bow that you're wanting, whatever it may be. If you're listening to this in June, go check that out. The link is down below. If you're past June, sorry you missed that one, but check out the Instagram or the YouTube channel, the most recent videos as to what I might be giving away at that moment. Every month this year of 2024, I'm giving something back to say thank you. I'm feeling extremely grateful, and I want to give back to you guys. So with that being said, enough of that. Let's get into this, guys. So I have a buddy here in Utah who runs the company called Affect Beard. Absolutely love what he does. He gives a portion of all purchases back to charity. Also, if you make a purchase uh, and, and let him know what charity you want it to go to, you know, there's things like that that you can check out with Affect Beard. Uh, he's just an amazing dude, makes everything in his home. He's gone all in. He has an awesome beard. But more than anything, he wants to make sure that you're getting the best products, uh, not some proprietary blend stuff or anything along those lines, but something that you know what the ingredients are so that you can make sure to take care of your face more than anything. So here's a myth that I didn't know. Uh, first off, is apparently the skin here on your face is different than the skin on your head. For the longest time, I was using shampoo for my hair and my hair here. And I didn't notice a difference, didn't really care. And then after a while, things started to get more itchy and I hate itchy beard. And on top of that, if you ever wear, if you have a color palette like I do, where you wear a lot of dark blues, dark grays, blacks, uh, all of those things, you're going to look like you got snowed on because you've got the dandruff in your beard. And I was trying to figure it out because I wasn't having the issue with the top of my head, but I was with my beard. Couldn't figure that out for the longest time. And then I got to talking with my buddy over here at Affect Beard, and he explained to me how the skin here is different, and you want to use good natural ingredients. And we're going to go over the ingredients. I don't have them memorized, so I will be reading off the label here, guys, for that purpose. But let me walk you through my beard care routine. We're actually going to do it here on the camera. I didn't want to take you into the bathroom because I feel like that's a little weird. Some people are cool doing that, whatever. I'm, 
I'm good. I'm not going to take you into my bathroom with me, but I will. I just got done showering, so I smell good. And uh, but I do want to get this taken care of because I can already feel uh, my skin starting to dry out just a little bit. So with that being said, here's what I do. First and foremost, you get in the shower, you're scrubbing down, you get all your body washed and everything like that. And then for my beard, I use the beard wash from Affect Beard. So everything in here, guys, is pretty simple. Look at that ingredients list. It's super tiny. It stops right there. After that, it's instructions. Let's see if it'll let me get close. There we go. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of that if you want. Go to the website. I'll leave the link down below there. But it's water, aloe vera, argan oil, coconut oil, avocado oil. So a lot of oils. Disodium EDTA, plant upon, sodium chloride, citric acid, germabin, and fragrance. So this doesn't really have a lot of fragrance to it, to be honest with you. This is just a good, solid beard wash uh absolutely love it I actually use it on my hair now too uh, because i noticed that sometimes my scalp gets a little dried out as well so i want to make sure that that's taken care of but i use this to make sure that my beard doesn't get dried out from all the other shampoos and things like that that you might use on the rest of your head uh, and it definitely helps a ton so with that being said you've got the beard wash and then once i get out i dry the beard off and everything like that he has a ton of different scents guys Highly recommend going and checking them out. I believe he even has a sample pack or something like that where you can go in and get a couple different ones put together to figure out which one works best for you because this is going to smell a certain way out of the bottle, but then once it mixes with oils on your skin, it might put off a different smell. And it's not necessarily bad, but it might not be the smell that you want to be smelling all day since it's kind of wafting up from your beard into your nose, whether that be you or your spouse. Uh, maybe you want to try a different scent. So here's one of my favorites. This one is the this one is the Mountain Woods, Crisp Mountain Woods. So we got pine, cedar, and spruce. Uh, it's just a refreshing smell. It really is. So here's what I do, guys. I usually take my rings off for this. You don't have to take your ring off, but uh, I'll take my, my groove ring off here. And I get about that much in the vial, put it in my hand here, it'll show that rather than my fingers. And then with the leftovers that are on the vial, I actually go through and put it in my beard itself, just straight to the beard. Now, I take this, I rub it in real good into my hands, and then I massage it in to my face. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about this. So, as I'm putting this in, I used to think that beard oil was mainly just for smells and to add some shine to your beard. So I didn't use it for the longest time because I didn't want the shiny beard look. I wasn't trying to like super shape my beard. I just wanted to have a clean beard. So what I didn't realize and what my guy over at Affect Beard explained to me was that this is actually better for the skin under the beard than the beard itself per se. This does add a little bit of weight to your beard so it will help with it settling down if you have like a super curly beard like mine where it likes to kind of go all over the place. Um, that can help but it's mainly for the skin underneath. So once I've got that all rubbed in, good to go. Put in the mustache. Put it on the corners. There we go. Close that all up. So then your hands are going to be nice and moisturized. Sometimes I even rub this into the scalp in my head just to make sure that everything is good and rubbed in. So, and then, you know, wash your hands off, get that oil off, etc. So you can tell nice and moisturized hands now at this point. Smell great. And the beard looks great. And like I said, I was honestly starting to feel a little bit of itchiness up underneath when you put that oil in and you massage it in real good so you don't just like wipe it on your beard and you're good to go you actually need to rub it into your hands massage it into the skin because that oil is actually there to help hydrate the skin make sure that it's moisturized and it's good to go because you just washed away all the skin oils that probably had maybe a little bit of smell to them maybe had some food mixed in there or something like that you washed all that away in the shower and now you've got to get back to you know your beard having a little bit of oil in it. 
so that your skin can be taken care of. Then, if you really want to go, and I'm not going to put any of this on right now, but actually I might. Let's go ahead and do it. So we've got, it comes out like it's called the beard butter, because it really does. It looks like butter. And there's some small ingredients in here. Let's see here. List of ingredients. Shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, uh, fractionated coconut oil, sunflower seed oil, and whatever fragrance it is that you're wanting. This one is also the Chris Mountain Woods and natural vitamin E oil. So all of that in here. So I just get a very tiny amount, nothing too big, about that much right there. And I rub it in just on the fingertips here. And then as you rub it in and you heat it up, it turns to that oil right there. You can see on the shininess of my fingers. And then that, I don't necessarily massage in. You can if you want, but this is definitely more for shaping and it's good for moisturizing the beard as well. But it's, it has a lot to do with shaping it and moisturizing the hair along with the skin of your face and your beard there you go so that is how simple it is guys you got a three-step process so you got the beard wash right here get out dry your face off put the beard oil on and then you put the beard butter Let's see if it'll focus there yep beard butter so choose your scent guys you get to choose that uh, figure out whatever it is that you like. And my guy over at Effect Beer will take care of you. We'll make sure that you are taken care of. And honestly, there's nothing that feels better than getting a complete shower, nice and warm shower, rinse off that sweat from your workout, the grime from the day, or if you start your morning off, just starting off, you know, after that workout, getting a nice fresh shower, washing off all that sweat, and then rinsing out and cleaning out your beard and starting fresh with something like this that has a really nice piney scent, pine cedar spruce scent to it. Reminds me of being outside. Uh, but there's quite a few other ones too, like the humidor and the cologne. There's also a non-scented one as well. So check all those out if you prefer to not have a scent at all to it. You just want the moisturization. Definitely go check that out as well. But guys, this is the best beard combination that I have found out there. Local guy here in Utah, everything's made here in the USA. So definitely supporting those small businesses, supporting the small small company. He does an amazing job. So if you have anyone that you know that's constantly scratching their beard, or maybe that's you, send them over to Affect Beard. I will leave my discount code down below as well because there is a discount for you guys. And again, every portion there's a portion of every purchase that you make that goes to charity. So go support my guy over at Affect Beard and start this little quick three-step process. It really doesn't add any time to your morning. And trust me, your face will feel better, you'll smell better, and your beard will look better. Thanks so much for tuning in to this one today, guys. Don't forget to get into the over $2,000 archery giveaway that ends the end of June. And come join us over at the First Form Outdoors Facebook group. I'd love to see you over there. If you have questions about that, Drop them in the comments down below. Shoot me a message over on Instagram. If you're listening to this in the audio-only version, I recommend you go check it out on the YouTube channel for our gear reviews. But either way, go get you some of your three-step beard process over at Affect Beard. Support the show. Support local companies. And I appreciate you so very much. Have a great rest of your day. And, of course, get out, live your life, and love it.